All right, so I got something a little different for you guys today. I've been porting on some heads and I figured, man, let me stop and grab some footage for you guys before these things are done. Uh, this is a second gen head that I'm working on here. Um, pretty much doing a full port and polish on this thing. This head's actually in really good shape as you can see here. So <clears throat> I already did the, the rough cut. So what you're looking at here is what I do uh, a secondary grind on it so we usually take the rough cut bit first which i'll show you this bit this bit here so this is the rough cut bit this is the one that basically hogs out all the metal as you can tell this thing is super aggressive and uh, you can see the metal chips i got going on everywhere all over the floor um, you can even see inside of this where i've cleaned up already once those are all the metal shavings from the heads that i'm working on but uh so yeah i just wanted to give you guys a little first hand view of what we got going on here this is the exhaust port again this is a second gen 3s gte head so i'm doing actually two second gens that i'm working on right now uh exhaust intake port down here i have the good old 4ag that i'm working on as well so actually well i don't know which way is better for the camera but <laughs> So that's the end. This is a big port 4AG that I'm working on. This one again has been rough cut. I have not used the my next step, which is the double cut bit that I use. I'll show you that bit right now as well. So this is a 4AG that I pretty much got all rough cut it out. Uh, exhaust port on the 4AG. I know it's a little dark back here. I'm in a little tiny cubby hole. This is another second gen that I'm working on that I'm doing basically a pocket port on. Uh, you can see the exhaust port there. Again, everything has been rough cut. That's both intake and exhaust, intake and exhaust. Uh, you can see, let me, let me get a light to show you guys better. So if you look at the rough cut finish, you can see where it's actually got like those uh, little tiny ridges. So that's how you could tell you got the rough cut port going on there first. Um, but again, this is, this is for a full build I'm doing for a customer, this particular head here. And again, it's just a pocket port, so I'm not doing the entire port in the head, but uh, you get a pretty good idea at the port there. And, and basically, all the power, pretty much for the most part, lies back here behind the valve. So that's why we call them pocket ports, where we basically do the bowl area first. And um, that's pretty much what's going to give them all the power they're really looking for. Obviously, if it's a full-blown race car, you take it to the next level and you try and increase the port size all the way through. But uh, for this particular application, this should be a pretty good setup for him. Okay, last and certainly not least, you have the good old 3TC cylinder head. So this is going to be for an NA customer. Uh, we're going to try and build a pretty radical, normally aspirated uh, 3TC motor. And this is the head that's going to be going on that. You can see I uh, I weld up all these particular areas on the 3TC, so all this I kind of grind the outsides just to get a clean, fresh um, place to start welding on. So that's all done here. You can see the exhaust port I'm working on as well, and the intake port, which uh, is considerably bigger than what it used to be stock. So 3TCs are notorious for breaking in that little area down there, but that goes nowhere in a 3TC motor. So normally the lifters sit in here and then there's an oil drain back on the block side. So when the oil comes over here, it kind of drains back. So these little holes, I mean, it would have been great if Toyota never even put those holes there because they don't really serve a purpose. But uh, what we do is we fill them up with epoxy. So after I'll go and I'll grind all in here to clean it all up. And then I'll put some tape on the inside and I'll fill this all up with epoxy just so obviously um, we don't have any oil that seeps into the port. But um yeah, this is, this is all coming along, guys. I just wanted to give you a quick rundown on these heads, what we got you know, going on this week. So I'm trying to get all four heads done and keep it moving on this stuff. So here is what I use to smooth the port out after I do the rough cut. So this is my double cut bit. So this will take basically take out all the rough edges that are in there from the actual rough cut because a rough cut obviously is really aggressive. This actually smooths it down pretty, pretty nice. Some guys actually leave this finish in ports. Um, I don't, but uh, 
once I finish the double cut bit on all of the cylinder heads then after that we take it to a, uh, a sanding roll so that'll be the last and final step and um, to get this all all three all four of these heads actually done so I uh, will keep shooting some footage and uh, give you guys some time lapse on what we got going on Here are the finished products. So we got, we were doing heads actually, one already went off to the machine shop to get uh, to my cylinder head guy to get completed. So that was actually the fully ported second gen head that we did. But I still have these guys here and I'll get you guys a shot of that one once I get it back. Um, that, that particular customer is definitely in a hurry to get that thing done. So it's a guy you guys might know in the 3S world. His name is Ryan, he has a, uh, the bad news Celica we were trying to help him out fix up his head because he had some issues before but I'll get you guys some more video of that but uh, let me get you guys a light here and here is the 4AG the big port head so um we got this one fully ported this is for uh, a local buddy of ours we got them in a little bit better position here so you guys could check them out so this is the big port 4AG like I said so I'll put some light inside of the port uh, that might be too bright. I mean, there you can see we pretty much fully ported this one intake port. Pretty cool how these 4AGs have this really big port, which I think is great. There's a lot of controversy on what guys think what head is better, whether it's the big port, the small port. I can't see how anything with a bigger port wouldn't flow more air. Granted, on a motor that's not built that radically. Uh, yeah, it might hurt you, but for what we're trying to do, the more air you move, the better, which is why you basically port the head. Um, but yeah, this thing is this thing's ready to go. So these are the intake ports on the 4AG. This is the second gen that we did the pocket port on, so it's going to get all new bronze guides. Um, basically, all the port work is done down there by the valve. So that is the second gen head. Uh, I've got to clean that up a little bit more. And then here is the good old 3TC. So gotta love these hemi heads so there's the intake port on the 3tc and um i will show you guys the exhaust port as well on all these okay here we go 4ag again so exhaust port on the 4ag uh we didn't get in there too crazy did a lot of work again by the bowl area i also uh what i basically do is i raise the roof of the exhaust port you can see here where the original exhaust mark was left from the gasket so i kind of never raised i never uh touched the floor so you don't want to lower the floor on any exhaust port or any port for that matter you always kind of want to 
raise the port the best you can so it gets the best amount of airflow so this is again the 4ag so here's the second gen uh cleaned up the exhaust a little bit more just because it had a bunch of carbon in there so i ran the sand roller through there to clean all that up and um and then over here the 3tc so this this particular head i need to weld up all the emission ports next so i'm going to take all these weld all these up uh, there's an emission port up here as well. You can see I kind of cleaned up the area and inside so I can weld all that up. So that is next on the list to get that welded up. And then you can see here all the bowl area. And we poured them all there. That's a 3T. Here is the second gen. Maybe it's better without the light. I think it's better without the light. So there's a second gen, all the bowl work done in that, that head and then the 4ag here so these are all pretty cool projects um all of these particular engines are getting built here this is going to be turbo uh we're going to push this pretty much um as as much as we can depending on the size of the turbo that it's going to get this is going to be a build also going to a customer out in texas and this is gonna be an NA build 12 to one 3TC. So you guys will see all this come together. So uh, stay tuned. Like I said, I'm gonna try and get some more videos up. I have uh, some other news and some other videos coming up. I'm gonna try and put a video together for Wednesday. So uh, today's Saturday, you guys have another great weekend. I hope everybody's safe and um, stay tuned. We will try and keep them coming. Take care, bye.